What's going on you guys? This is Scarloy one is 2 here, back once again with another video. And now, before we get started, do y'all remember that, that little layout video I did, like, a few, two years ago? Like, I showed off, I don't shut off my train table, that's actually the very first time I showed off this layout. And, ever since that video, there's been, I've made a few updates to the layout. And so today, I'm gonna do, t take you on a second layout, this kind of, kind of like an update, update, updated video of my, of my Thomas Wooden Railway layout tour. So we're gonna get an overview of the, of the layout. Look at my iPad's little right here. I'll, I'll put I'll put it over here. But anyways, this is my my whole layout layout right right now. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go full on in depth with in depth with this layout right, right here. Starting off as usual with Thomas's. Just like with the last little layout video, Thomas is right here at Nafford Station with Annie and Clarabelle. But we, and it, we have such so top and pants right here, drinking a sip of coffee. And back right here, over here we, ha we have Booty the Bus picking up some passengers. Now I'm not gonna go over all the Lego figures on this layout, but I'm only gonna go over the ones that you, the unique, unique ones, the ones that stand, ones stand out. Like, the passengers um, Booty's picking up are Bert and Ernie from, from the Muppets right there. You may recognize them. Let me just get the camera ready. There, there that's good. Yeah. They're, they're getting picked up. Over here we have a little parking lot with a guy on his phone. There we have, there we have another guy. Over here we have like, a, like an elevated walk, walkway bridge. That figure is, is supposed to be Robert Audrey, the creator of Thomas. And over here is, is Britt Allcroft, the person who brought Thomas to the TV. Yeah. If we follow Thomas's line, and we go over here, we go over here to Toby's line, and he's here at Timmiff Station. Now, you might remember that Tinmith was actually over there, and Rollsworth was, was, was right here. In fact, this station was Mayfwade, but I since I since then switched that around. I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you more when I get to Rollsworth. Toby's here, also picking up, picking up passengers with Henrietta and Victoria. He isn't going on this line, or Thomas goes straight. The, well, in the meantime, they're, they're talking to each other about life. Over here, we have Howell, Howell the helicopter on his helipad. Here's a little signal box with some coal loads. Now for, here's a little two-way switch. If, if we go straight, we'll go into the yards. First up, over here we have Billy just resting. Here is, here is Harvey with Rocky putting Rocky away. And here we have three visiting in, visiting, visiting engines. Of course, we have the usual Flying Scotsman and the City of Truro. But in the center we have um, the Rainbow Sun from Shining Time Station, aka 475. And we, he's what he also is a visiting he, visiting here as well. I updated him. Last time you saw him, I gave him a face, and I would I put Indian Valley on his sides. And here we have and here we have um three of the usual Shining Time regulars: Mr. Conductor, Stacy Jones, and Horace Schemer, all just there. Yeah. If we go back over to to this line, and we go and we go straight. We come over to this VT switch with Ryan pulling some goods train, a little train. We have some yogurt, a little giggling Charleston truck, and a brake van. And we go in here, we go into Tiffman Sheds. We have many engines. First up is Percy getting on, getting on the turntable. We have two cash grab characters, aka Neville and Molly. Over here we have our three old engines, Steven. Glenn and Neil just talking about how it is talking about stuff, how it, how it is to be old and now yeah you, you get it. Over here we have Rosie in, in the little shed here. Murdoch also taking a rest. Stanley, James, and my and and, and my newest one to Rebecca, which I just got Rebecca today, and I have a box over there. And I'm gonna I'm, I think later some, some sometime this week I'm gonna do do a little review of Rebecca. I'm not sure when. Yeah. We have our engine, um, some engines at Tiffman Sheds. Now, now we're gonna take a little break off, off here and go back onto the main line. If we go past, go past Toby. Oh, oh by, by the way, Kill Line is there as well. We come on to the main line over to the Vicarage Orchard. We have the vicar himself, and we also have Trevor talking to his friend Edward, who's pulling the breakdown train. Sorry, I just have to, I just have to fix this. Who's talking? As I'm moving along, if we go past Edward, we go, go over to Toby's windmill, and we have, we have a field with Terence in it, 
And, and coming to Toby's windmill, we have Robert pulling, pulling the, the fog cars. We have a little forest over there. And we come over here to Farmer McCall's farm. One of the recent update, updates I just made to the layout. I added a little side in here. Originally, the McCall's picture was actually right, right here. But I put it over here off the main line so it doesn't get in the way. And it's more close to McCall's farm. We have Daisy there getting ready to... He lady takes some milk, even I'm pretty sure she doesn't want to. We have a little farmer guy there. We come over here, like, there's the airport there. We come over here to um, Rollsworth Station. Now, the reason why I put Rollsworth over here is because it's much more close to Brendan Docks, which of course, Brendan Docks is on the Rollsworth branch line in the show, so I just put it there. Got some dudes there. That, this figure right here is actually Bruce Banner. Hopefully no one makes, makes him angry. Here we have him um, at Rollsworth. We have Bear collecting some pass passengers. I mean, he might be talking to Dave with Daisy. I don't know. Maybe he's, Daisy might be talking. He might be. He might be listening on Daisy's um, rants about the carrying milk. But I guess Bear wouldn't mind. Moving past Bear, we come into Brendan Docks. This area has not changed much. We have Cranky and Tiny over here. We have some loads. Salty's right here. Porter's Porter's getting some cargo ready. We have a little worker guy getting some fish ready for the flying camper later, later tonight. And here we have some tugs, my, my usual tugs, Top Hat, Hercules, and Sunshine. All, all getting ready, ready to work. Now we're gonna go now we're gonna go past Salty's line and come on to the come on to the back of the docks. There's a little I think there's um that's Louis too, I think. And we have Oliver with his um First train consisting of Scruffy, Fred Pelhay, and Rickety, and of course, Toad the Brake fan right here. Here was a little apartment building. We have J. Jonah Jameson right there. He in his car. We have the Duke and Duchess of Boxford right there. Look, we'll right there. If we go on, go along this line here. We'll go up to the sort of suspension bridge, where we have um Duck, and he's pulling um his slick, the slick coaches as usual. There's a little pond back here with Princess, with Princess Peach. We come along to here, passing by a duck. We go over to the Suttery Bridge. With Whiff, Whiff, where Whiff, sorry, is pulling the, the aquarium cars. Passing by Whiff, we come over to Hero, who's pulling, pulling two of my, my two custom troublesome brick fans and an oil tanker. And there's a down with Thomas Caboose right, right there. Pass right there, and there's the Timoth Tower, a little apartment complex. So this part, basically, um, I, I try to make everything more more more, more, more contain the same area. Like here's Nafford, here's Tidmouth, there's Wellsworth, and over here is gonna be Ma we're gonna go soon as Marwin. Crosby's over there. So yeah, I just want I just want to make every, every, everything more organized. Yeah. So here was like we're around over to Duck's line, right right there. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna keep going along the main line right here. We pass, we come through the docks and into the rail yards right here. We have, um, right over here we have Spencer, the, just talking to Tencent about, about how pomp, about how proud he is. Which Tencent wouldn't even give a crap. He's just listening, just like, he doesn't even want to hear it, hear the crap Spencer's saying. Obviously. Come along here we have Mavis, lo loading Hector up on coal. And Timothy, I like the switch now. It's another thing I made to the layout recently. Is that on the switch right, right here. Wasn't here. It was a straight up a curve going here. I put the switch right here so it was, so it was much more easier for engines to get in and out of, of, the, of the coaling plant. Easiest fa past. Oh, by the way, this is the Crosby coal loader. I mean, the, the, my, on my layout, Crosby isn't a station. It's, it's just a um, coaling plant. Yeah. I mean, there's Timothy with a, with a coal truck there. I mean, a cool truck's right here. Timothy's carrying a quarry car. Sorry. And we go on to Timothy. Back on the truck line. We come over here to the diesel shed. We have um, Diesel and George looking cross about the steam engines and, and the diesels work, working. And over here we have some diesels. Planning to take over the railway. We have Alien Bird, Diesel 10, D199. Dennis is not, not really part of them. He's just part of this group. He's just lazy. He just... He's just, he's, just, he's just there because he's lazy and doesn't want to take his take take trains. He's lazy, yeah. We have Splatter and Dodge and, and Bowler. Yeah, though, we're, we're plotting, plotting something. Minus, minus Dennis, of course. 
And over here we have Alfred, the foreign engine. He's possibly giving them facts, facts about how they probably take over the railway. Yeah, yeah. Going back over to the yards, we have Mater and just ch 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 chilling there. We have Bill and Ben were kept pulling, pushing two giant clay trucks, which obviously, obviously they crashed into each other, derailing one. We have Derek coming through with a train of, train of ballast. One of them's in a day out of Tom's car. We have Boko and Fergus over here um, talking about, about about how difficult it is to mentor the two twins. Right, here's my, this is actually actually my ta a take along Fergus I recently recently got. I'm using using I'm using this instead of my regular Fergus because it, because he's my, I heard it, the take along Fergus is like the only take along that works on on wooden railway track I heard. He's over here loading some a truck up with troublesome truck up with coal. Now here on this little elevator track here, I didn't know what to put here since it doesn't actually actually go nowhere. So I just put the the minimum gauge in, the minimum gauge engines engines there. We have Bert, Mike, Jock, Frank, and the, and the blister blister twins. They're all there. And actually over here in that tunnel right there is my cu my custom bluebell. He's possibly he, he may or may not be plot plot plotting to to go on a mad bo on a bombing spree, just bombing a place on Sodor. Or or he he possibly might may or may not be a mad bomber in case you get that re that reference. Yeah, we're gonna take a break over, off the main line and go over to, go over to here, past my coal station. This is actually the pack headquarters with Miss Jenny right there. We have Jack, Alfie, and Wally from Bob the Builder. Oh wait, sorry, the little guy fell over. Okay, that's good. I I, I got them both back up again. We come over here to Marin Station. We have the Marin Signal House right here with em where Emily is pulling some coaches, passengers. And there's another part of the layout that I fixed. The Magic Brothers are no longer here. I got rid of them. I got rid of them. It's like so I was trying to drift, drift, drift as far away from Magic World as possible. Yes. I replaced that with by continu continuing the roadway section. And we have Speed Delivery Van. Uh, that's supposed to be a uh, Guido from Ca uh, Philippe, uh, Luigi from Cars. We have the sort of a spot, sort of a rescue team. I have a little car there, a school bus going underneath the Marin Bridge. And right here we have a little the sort of a fire station right here, a little KFC right there, a bakery with one of the chefs on a cigarette break, a little, ch a little church. Yeah, that's like a little Marin town area. Yeah, we have a little sat sat night statue in the center there. We have Rory and Waluigi just chilling there. And we have Doug, Wa Doug, Doug Walker, the nostalgia critic, keeps drinking beer outside of a grocery store. And over here, if we go across this crossing here, we come to Arthur, who, who's coming out of the Steamworks, which we'll get, we'll get to in a second. And Bulgy, who's been who's currently, currently in his henhouse state, as you see, see right here. Also, that little bridge I was on Bulgy, I, I removed that. I removed that and placed it with, with, some, with some hens. Oh, anyway, anyways, and with make this since the magic buffer, magic buffers are no longer here. I now have I now have offers track offers on coming to the steamworks while well, he's just getting back from getting repaired. We come into the steamworks on this end. We have Victor and Kevin, Evan here. Saint Green Stephanie passing by with old slow coach. That which which wraps around and goes back go back goes back to Thomas's line. But we're not done yet. We start with this little section here. We go, we follow Stephanie's line, go over here, which goes to the little sort of sort of timber yards here, where Henry is getting some logs cut up. We have Don, a Donald, yeah, and the rest in the sheds, while his friend Douglas passes by with a goods train, along with Bradford the brake van. Over here we have Byron from the pack, he's track, he's track master. Over here is Lori Free, a custom one. Over, over here, coming out of, the other side of Henry's tunnel is Gordon with the Express, and and right here, Genty. Just he's just he's just chilling, just chilling there. Genty, yeah, I don't know what else to put to put there. Yeah. So anyway, guys, that was my little update video on my Thomas Wooden Railway layout. 
I hope you enjoyed this video, and Scholarly Rowanies too, signing out.